Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I have another Marini ECM, this time testing a 700 SCI. Um, this is a Mercruiser computer. Uh, so we have, uh, let me just turn this on, a firewall reference. I got actually the computer running. We got fuel pump, main power relay. Uh, the uh, chicken and light, let's say, is meal is coming on and off, but the computer is running. So the concern is uh, the IAC valve. And as you have seen, in all my previous videos, this is a substituted value that I have. And actually I have a channel connected to the IAC output and definitely is, is uh, just showing the 13 volts that I'm supplying through the simulator in order to activate the IAC or, you know, because it's a ground side activation coming from the computer. And it's a pulse wet, depends on how much the actual computer is commanded on. And, and here it's not working. So I have one of the injectors on red channel one of the coils on the green channel and then the CAN bus on blue channel. The reason we see the CAN bus so just like a noise is because it's the speed that I have to see the other the other signals. If I reduce the speed, uh, the speed we can see the, the CAN bus actually working good. The communication, this is for gauges and other things, right? The communication happens in a, in a different network, but that is all there. Obviously, because I can, uh, talk to the computer on the actual um, diacom. Uh, we have 67.93 IAC duty cycle as it is, and we have available 100% power. So um, we will have multiple fault codes due to actually nothing connected in here, uh, but yeah. IAC output code is active. Disregard injectors, even though they're all running this computer, especially on the SCIs, don't like the resistance of my simulator, but we can see that we have all the injector drivers, all the eight injector drivers working. Everything is good in there. Uh, yeah, so, but the IAC output is active. So what I want to do is then uh, fix this because this is, they already talk. Uh, I mean, I already told them, let me just take a look at the computer. I took pictures when I opened it. It was a little bit of a, a moisture inside the computer. So um, I don't know if I said this, this is coming from Boat Repair Plus in North Carolina. So uh, Bob, um, <clears throat> if you see this uh, video, which uh, obviously I will send you the, the video, sorry, the link, um, I would recommend to put like a little bit of um, silicone grease on the connectors and always on the outside of the connector, not in the actual pin face because dielectric grease is, is non-conductive. That can stop the actual you know, wiring and it will uh, create problems, but just on the outside, a little film so we can stop water from entering if that is the case on these computers because it can also enter from the outside of here. So I would even recommend if it, this is on on a boat that is uh, prone to moisture or water splash to silicone the connector a little bit, clear silicone or something that will prevent and help moisture to get in. It wasn't much, but this is enough to create problems like the one you have right now. And definitely, okay, so I'm going to uh, repair this. Um, the boat uh, computer has very, very slow hours, or very, sorry, very low hours. Let me just open that up. Oh, I don't have it ready, so just bear with me one second. I already saved the history. I always do save the history of, of the customer before. I got so many of these ones, so just bear with me one second right here. And <clears throat> all right, so pretty much all the faults that we have here, they're mine. It look like they erased the full codes before coming here. The computer has only 170 hours, 98. So let's say 171 hours. I am going to perform the repairs and then go from there. All right, guys, so as you see, there is no output computing is running. And we had RPM, no actuation on the IX. Remember that yellow channel, we had 13 volts. If I put a cursor in there for the yellow channel, we can see that we have 13.32 volts right there. And that is just my oscilloscope reading now. Nothing is happening in there. So let me fix this up. Um, I always, and I recommend them, that I want to do a complete refresh on the computer. That means diodes, capacitors, and et cetera. So the computer could last pretty good for another 20 or so years, unless it gets, you know, water damage. But 
hopefully that will never happen all right guys so let me stop the video perform the repairs and i'll be right back all right guys our repairs are completed i removed the meter from the equation because uh, i was in well in my way now uh, and we saw the final reference is good i already checked that and it's good uh good thing no longer i fault so I'm going to read the faults again, and we can see that we got, you know, EST 8 and 8, 7 and 8 are not connected. I always leave those on purpose. And actually, let me connect it so you can see that those faults can go away. All right, I connected those coils. As you see, EST and 8, 7 and 8 were open, so I'm going to erase the fault codes. Yes, and then read again. And we can see that those are no longer active. The fuel pressure is disconnected. Uh, sorry, the main power relay is not running, so that's what it's done, and the other two are disconnected. So let's read the full codes again, and we can see that no longer EST 7 or 8 are active. All right, so, but I don't want to keep those connected because I always leave those unplugged on purpose. Just want to make sure that that is, I unplug it again, so let's read faults again. And we can see that immediately the computer is reading ESC 7 and 8 open. So the logic on the computer is good, and that's the reason I do it. All right, so let's uh, go into engine data. I'm going to select the RPM so we, uh, so we can see that. We can move that here. Um, well, IAC, right? So we want to see the IAC value. Come on. So I'm just going to put those two in there so we can see how much is being commanded. And we'll immediately see in the yellow channel on the on the screen. So let's run it and we immediately see it. So, okay, so IAC is now on and we can see that immediately on the substituted value. And we can see the yellow channel pulse wet. So it's pulsing it from ground to uh, 13 volts. So I can put another cursor in here and just bring it down. Oh, if I can select it here, yep. Let me bring the yellow channel up a little more because I pull it down to see what we're doing in here. Again, this is going to be close, but yeah, we can see that it's pulling it from, you know, zero pretty much to battery voltage. So it's a pulse width modulated signal. And that's what we see, what we see here. It's a 60.93% modulation. So if I change the RPMs, that will definitely change. You see it went up to 70. 75 78 80 percent so the the pulse width is changing i'm going to change the throttle position accordingly and we can actually select that one too so we can see that from the distance throttle position yeah now we got the throttle position as well so it's better for you guys to see i can see it from here but i'm not sure if you do or not and then we can see that so in order for the injectors to change i will have to change the map manifold air pressure sensor we can see how they're all working accordingly and they're all the same and we can see that on the red channel in there too as well so i like to keep this one around 9 to 10 psi when i'm running it like this you know but everything is now working 100 percent. we can see the activation and everything so um let me go down to idle again around 650 700 so that is fine. We can see 59% duty cycle. I'm going to change the throttle to around 7 to 10%. It's a stain in there, the IAC. So we can see all signals present and everything working 800%. Uh, if we go back to full codes, let me shut this down. We don't need no more. Let me read again. Running, we will get those injector faults. But we're looking to not have the IAC fault no more here, and we don't. So this is uh, confirmation that the repair took place and is working good. Again, like I said, disregard all the injectors as open. We know that they're not open. Computer doesn't like the resistance of in here. That is not a problem. And I know I have checked those. And I have injectors. I can run it, and I know that that is not a problem. As long as I see these oscillations after um the actuation of the injector i know the drivers and the computers are good uh that is a good driver it's a good leftover 
power and so that is that is good so all all signals are present everything is working good all right so bob i will contact you shortly send this computer immediately because they want to they have a i think an event coming soon so they want this to get done right away all right guys thank you so much for visiting the channel don't forget to subscribe see you next time bye bye